Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today is my birthday. I not the day that you're watching this, September 22nd. I'm gonna upload this in a few days. Anyway, today is my birthday, so what better day to unbox some goodies? I have had this box for a few days now and I am so excited to finally open it. This is a purchase that I made on the 21 Days of Beauty through Ulta. I'm just gonna get into it. So I, I have been getting really into AG Hair Care. It is a brand that I fell in love with. I fell in love with this of theirs. It's the Curl Activator Recoil. I talked about it like half a dozen times on my channel so far. It's what's in my hair right now. This is second day hair. I washed my hair yesterday morning and I definitely haven't been going to any kind of effort to keep the curls really nice. but. Given that, and that I slept on it just down and all of that, this is what my hair looks like after using the AG hair yesterday morning. It is now Sunday, like at 1 p.m., and I wash my hair Saturday morning. So this is second day curls from the from that product. I really, really love that product. It's one of the best curly hair products that I have used in years, in years, in a very, very, very long time. So I went nuts buying a whole bunch of different kinds of stuff from AG Hair Care because of all of the other things that were on sale throughout the whole 21 Days of Beauty. This had the best deal. A lot of the other stuff, it was like buy one, get one half off, or buy two, get a third half off, or buy one, get a free gift with purchase. But these were on sale for like $15 each when normally the the normal price is like $38. So these AG really they made me buy so much stuff of theirs. <laughs> um so this is like mostly an AG hair haul. I have a whole bunch of things I'm really excited to try and then I will do actually probably some more hair videos. So we're gonna go through that and then I have a few little other things here. These things were not on sale. I just threw them in my cart while I was at it, while I was shopping the 21 days sale. So let's do this stuff first. Oh, it's fighting me. So I have been raving about this. This is the Lash Princess. Essence false lash, la false lash Effect Mascara, and I don't think I've said it in one sentence without fumbling ever on my channel. False Lash Effect, I can do it. <laughs> anyway, I threw one of these in my cart. They're $4.99, it's cruelty free, and I have been really impressed by the way this mascara works. So I just always like to have um, a fresh mascara of one that I like on hand, so I just threw one in my cart. This is something from Flower Beauty, Drew Barrymore's line of products. Products. I have been wanting to try something from her her line. So this is a mix and matte lip duo, duo. High coverage matte color plus a matching pearlized gloss. Now some of the people that left reviews on this product said that the gloss kind of reminded them of a 90s vibe. There was more than one person who said that and I absolutely appreciate what they mean. I was in high school in the 90s, so I get it. I graduated high school in the year 2000. Let's take a look at what this color looks like. I am wearing lip color, but I'll go ahead and take it off and see. Okay, so it's mostly off, so let's see what this looks like. Okay, so this is, let me show you guys. This is the cute little lip. Wait, okay, so is that the gloss? Oh, oh, it's a traditional, I didn't realize this. It's a traditional like lipstick kind of applicator. I haven't used one of these in so long. Okay, so, and then this is the gloss that supposedly looks a little 90s and this is supposed to be long lasting. I don't have a lot of patience for lip colors that aren't long lasting. You should know that about me if you watch my channel so that you know when I'm talking about lip colors if I don't like it. Often one of the reasons is that there's a lot of transfer and it doesn't last very long. That's kind of a deal, deal breaker for me. Um, okay, here we go. What color is this? Tickled pink. That's so cute. Okay. Oh, I have. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's funny because it is so similar to the color that I just had on, <laughs> which 
says something for the colors I like, right? I kind of miss using this kind of applicator, the actual stick lipstick. Okay, so that's supposed to dry down matte. Super pretty color. I'm into it. Okay, so I'm going to give that a little time to dry, and then we'll see what this gloss is all about, the 1990s gloss. I think I'm supposed to let it dry. So step one is matte it with creamy matte color. Step two is gloss it with pearlized gloss. Step three is bold it, layer pearlized gloss on creamy matte, if you want, I suppose. And then pro tip, add touches of gloss on the matte lip for a plumping effect. Okay, so if you wanted to just put a little bit in the middle. Oh, these are made in Canada. Her stuff is made in Canada. Way to go, Drew Barrymore. We never test on animals. Here's what the back looks like, if you're curious. And th these are the steps that I just read. So it's not drying down. It's not saying that I should let it dry down. I'll give it a little time. I guess maybe it doesn't dry down. Let's see if it transfers. Absolutely. <laughs> That's transfer if you ask me. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I can get into this. Maybe what helps it dry down is in the gloss. So let's put the gloss on now. Let's see how 90s it gets. It's a gorgeous color. Okay, I see what people are talking about with the 90s effect, but it doesn't bother me. Maybe because I'm a child of the 90s. Oh, I don't know if you could see, you couldn't see that when I was doing it. Sorry. I see what people are saying with the 90s effect, but you know what? Drew Barrymore was huge in the 90s, so maybe it's just a little shout out to <laughs> her heyday. She's still in her heyday. She's amazing. I've always been a big fan, which is why I really just wanted to try something by Flower Beauty. This is really nice, and you know, if you don't like the lip gloss that it comes with, which I I think it's perfectly fine but if you don't like it you can put another lip gloss over it you can use a gloss that you actually like I'm sure let's see if it does not feel like it's even trying to dry down at all yeah I like kiss proof transfer proof we'll see I may not be able to get into this maybe if I blot I think it's on my teeth it's on my teeth oh dear I don't know, but this is, like I said, this is why I emphasized that you should know this about me, that I really hate when lipsticks transfer and don't last last a long time. They get on your teeth. I want to be able to kiss my husband. I want to be able to eat and not have to like reapply. It's gorgeous. I just, I don't know about all the transferring happening. Maybe my mother will want it. Although she's been getting into long lasting lipsticks too. So, and then I, there were a couple of elf brow products that I wanted to try. This one was like two bucks. So for $2, heck yes, I wanted to try it. The reason I really wanted to try it is that I've also been talking about this L'Oreal brow pencil that I really like. It has one of those pencils on one side that you twist and it keeps on going. You don't have to sharpen it. Sharpen it. I'm trying to talk faster than I'm able to. I think that makes sense. And then it has the spoolie on the other end. So I, this has the same kind of idea going on. There's the, the pencil on one end and a spoolie on the other. So I'm looking for a cruelty-free alternative to this L'Oreal one that's really awesome. And this one's actually cheaper, so that's awesomer. I am trying to open this. Okay, so there's this just standard spoolie on that end. And then, yep, it look it, it's just like the L'Oreal one. I also have been using one that I dislike that if you've been watching me, I've talked about it. I feel a little redundant sometimes. Anyway, so this is the Kaylee one. This one came out of a of box. I don't like this one. The, the tip is just too soft and I don't like the way the product get, goes on. It, it's easily too much. So let's just try this. I am wearing some of that Kaylee one, so we're just going to put a little bit more on. I'm also wearing, I should tell you guys what I'm wearing on my eyes. I played with makeup this morning for my birthday. Okay, so that goes on nicely. I have more control over the 
product and there's more precision to it. There's not a lot of precision to that Kaylee one. So I'm into that. And then I have another e.l.f. brow product and this one I saw on Tati's channel. And I believe it's a newer brow product of theirs. And it was $4 so I threw this on my cart as well. She tried it in her PR unboxing, her last PR unboxing video and I love PR unboxing videos. And her reaction was kind of like off to the side and subtle. James, her husband, was doing something else that was, that was like more prominent, but she was off to the side trying it. And she said that she really, really liked it kind of under her breath. Oh, okay. So it's called Wow Brow. And it's like this. And it just kind of looks like a miniature mascara. Yeah, it, it looks like a miniature mascara. So I got both of these in brunette colors. Yeah, I think you can see. So this just kind of goes on your actual eyebrow hairs like a mascara. Huh, I'm into that. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this when I don't already have brow product on. I kind of have a lot of brow product going on right now, so I will try this out in a get ready with me. But I am excited to have new brow products because I have not been into that one that I've been using lately. And that was the only one I had. So those are the non-AG hair care products that I got. So I went ahead and I bought three more of the product that I really, really like, the Recoil Curl Activator from AG, because they were $15 each, <laughs> typically $38. And I think my hair, my sister's hair is similar to mine, and I might gift her one for her birthday slash Christmas. I'm gonna have to give her, that's more information than you care. The timing of when I'm gonna see her, she lives in another state, is that it will be like a bunch of stuff for both her birthday and Christmas. And I think I might put this into that little goodie collection of presents that I give to her. Usually, I'm struggling because usually there's like a thing of tape when they ship it to you so that this doesn't twist and pop open in shipment, which is awesome. And this broke, so there's, anyway. Okay, and then I'm drowning in AG hair care products. I want to try some of their shampoo and conditioner, and I got their Keratin Repair Restore and Refuel Shampoo and Conditioner. Wait, the shampoo is called Refuel, the conditioner is called Restore. It looks like this. I will let you know what I think. I'm currently trying out their Curl Revive Shampoo and Com Conditioner. I bought that. If you watched my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty video that I did a, a little over a week ago, I purchased these in store because I went in store to get the Kylie Lip Kit because they were running out of colors online. It was so not surprising. So I'm excited to try the shampoo and conditioner and what's really exciting is Lauren, my friend Lauren, sent me a message on Instagram that there is an AG product in the upcoming FabFitFun sale. What? I'm so thrilled that they have made it into the sales. So I couldn't quite see. She, it came in her sneak peek email and I tried to zoom in but it was a little fuzzy so I don't know what product it is exactly. But it is from this. They are doing a new, I think it's new, they're doing a natural line. So AG Hair is already cruelty free and they already contribute to uh, girls' education in Africa by providing scholarships in schools. Some of their proceeds go to that. So they already do really wonderful things. I'm trying to see if there's anything on here that says that they're vegan as well. I'm trying to be more aware of not only cruelty-free, but vegan products. I don't see anything about them being vegan, but they might be. So anyway, so they already do all that, and now they are coming out with a natural hair care line that has non-toxic ingredients. So this says, formulated with over 97% naturally derived plant-based ingredients. So this is kind of like a little styling kit where you can get a whole bunch of samplers, and I love doing that when I can with new lines of products that I want to try out, because you just never know. You spring for a tub of stuff that you want to try, and maybe you'll hate it. So that really can be disappointing, although I heard and I haven't taken advantage of the fact that Ulta has a pretty awesome return policy if that's true is that true I think that's true so this little kit was $15 it was on sale it's typically over 30 I believe and it came with five little samplers this is an apple cider vinegar sulfate free shampoo called balance let's see it there was a conditioner with it so and then the conditioner is called boost 
So it came with this little sampler shampoo and conditioner. I'm gonna try those out. I love these things. I bought one for the Diva Curl line and I actually haven't reviewed that on my channel, but I wasn't terribly wowed by anything. So I was really happy that I did that because Diva Curl just gets so much recognition as being a great line for curly girl stuff. And I wasn't super amazed. So love buying things like this to save you that time and money and all of that. So this is a cocoa nut milk. Oh, that's cute. You'll see when I hold it up. Um, cocoa nut milk conditioning spray. So this is a conditioning spray. So I can try that out. And then this is, oh, a Bloom Flexible Hold hairspray. And then there's one more little guy in here, Glow Shine Infuse Serum. So yeah, so I'm gonna try all these out. I will let you know in a review video what I think of those. And then here are the last two things from AG, their regular line of products. I wanted to try a couple of uh, their products for straightening my hair. And so I got, this is Firewall Argon Shine and Flat Iron Spray. I didn't think this one through entirely. I don't do very well with sprays. Sometimes they're okay, but I'm sensitive to feeling like they feel suffocating. I know that they probably feel suffocating to everyone, but I'm pretty sensitive to it. Uh, and I really like immediately don't like it, but I have used some that are okay. Like the R Co Freeway Spray Gel. That one's okay. I can sit and spray that one all day long and I don't feel suffocated. The last product that I bought is the Big Wig Root Volumizer. So I do often feel like my hair is laying a little flat on top when I straighten it. I guess because I'm used to this puffiness and so maybe it's just the contrast, but I'm excited to try this after I straighten my hair to give a little lift to the roots. So that's everything that I got. I will put across the screen how much I spent. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment below and introduce yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!